Hi guys. guys, I'm Stutter. I'm Nevada. We're the Stutter Brothers. Welcome to our movie review of DCEU's official kickoff to Blue Beetle. Yeah. I like watching Cobra Kai the movie. Same actor. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, I usually start first, but today I'm gonna I'm gonna make an exception. Nate, would you like to go first? No, but I will do it anyway. Cool, cool, cool. I know how much you love Cobra Kai, so so you're the honors, man. Th thank you. That, that that makes more sense. You got me on card with this, folks. I'm, I swear. <laughs> anyway, um, um, passing grade, honestly. Um, big Cobra Kai fan, so Jolo, bravo. Mary Duera, bravo. Yes, sir. Gracias. Um, that was a good accent. Not that I would know, actually, so <laughs> never mind. <laughs> anyway, um, it was very heartfelt. It, Actually, I almost almost cried at one point. I'm not gonna spoil when, but you'll know when you see it. Yeah. So I just like something about that moment just gut punched me. Honestly, it it was like I could cry. I could cry. Hold oh, it. <laughs> anyway, um, so um, like the villain, I admittedly could be better. Like they it didn't have they didn't have a lot like. Like the face didn't have a lot of layers to them, honestly. And there was one villain. There were two villains, and one villain he had a good. He, he had more layers than I expected, honestly. So that was good. The other villain, the main villain, I honestly don't know what their motivations were. I guess something, but I think money, probably. I guess I don't know. Recognition. Whatever. Anyway, um, the um, the actors were great. George Lopez, Jolo, and all, everyone else. Like, I really, I really anticipated a good film, but I got a really good film. Not a great film, though. It was close. But honestly, I don't know. I don't know. Some holds me back from saying it's a great film. So, however, it is a good film. Much better than The Flash. And Shazam Fury of the Gods. Oh, yeah. And Black Adam. Oh, yeah. Yes. Stop reminding those this stuff. <laughs> anyway. So, as I was saying, it was just a good movie, a really good movie. I don't know what's holding me back from saying it's great, but hey, Joel, good job. Great. Joel, Joel did a great job, at least. I'm a big Cobra Kai fan, so. And this was a great. Also, I, I, I'm, I'm a big blue. I, I'm big. I, I'm starting to be a DC fan too. So I'm diving into their like I like their TV shows and stuff. So diving into a different mo a movie about a um relatively unknown hero, not totally unknown, but relatively unknown, like uh, the Guardians in Marvel. Why is that so familiar? I don't know. James Gunn. <laughs> anyway, um, so um, I was I was welcome to that. So. Thumbs up, passing grade, take it away. <laughs> that was a heavy one. <laughs> All right. I mean, speaking of heaviness, <laughs> yes, um, it wasn't super, the film wasn't super heavy, but it, 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 it was a very, I mean, at times it, it was at heart, heart, very heartfelt moments yeah. that felt a bit heavy, but I appreciate the, uh, I, I appreciate the Latino representation though in this, you know, in this film. Um, I work with I work with them quite a few of them at, at work though, so um, so I would totally get why um why, why they struggle and and they come and they come together. Um, Zolo kicked a lot of ass in this film. He kicked a lot of he was a badass in this film. Yeah. Oh, and for all those who think Blue Beetle is just tech, he is mostly, but there was some martial arts. So Zolo got to shine as as Miguel. Yep, and he still did the martial arts in the film. Hopefully, barring any CGI. Um, hopefully they let him do it though. Mostly, I think it did though. Agreed. Yeah. I, but they, he, he, he nailed it at the ballpark. He's acting phenomenal, just like he did Cobra Kai. Yeah. Mo funny, emotional, and full of heart. Yeah. And um, overall, I enjoyed this. Like I said, I agree with Nate that it's better than the recent DC, DCEU projects that we saw in the last two years. Yeah, few years. Few years though. But um, I'm I'm hoping this will be a great start to the DCU. Um, I mean um. I, I really enjoyed this film. I I um I did, did, they have two post credit scenes though. Just so you know, um, one mid credit, and one after one after credit. One's important, one's not. Yeah, but still worth checking out because <laughs> I'm not expecting 
yeah, that, yeah, yeah, that's not gonna spoil it. But hey, um, but hey, um, I I really enjoyed this film. I had I I, I laughed at good times. Um, villains were kind of, I mean, I mean, yes, the villain's story wasn't 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 explained well enough though. But like like, like their motivations. But I'm hoping, I'm hoping um, they'll be connected somehow in the DCU, DCU when this kicks off. So I recommend go seeing this film though. You know, to support the box office though. So so that way this can be a sequel and future movies though. James Gunn, I'm praying this will be a good universe though coming up for you, buddy. And please let it work. All right, overall, I give this film a solid 9.8 out of 10. Great, 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 great superhero film for DCU. Nice. Yeah. So, um, guys, that'll do the review for now. I um, hope you all like it. hope you all like and subscribe. Um, did you guys see Blue Beetle? What did you think of it? Let us know in the comments below if you liked the film or, or like a movie review. Um, our next movie review next week is Gran Turismo. Um, <laughs> yeah. Vroom, vroom, vroom. yeah. Um, we're seeing it next weekend. So, uh, next, next Thursday. Week. Next Thursday, <laughs> technically. Yeah, because today's Thursday. Yes. Yep. <laughs> so, um, um, that's our next movie review. I hope, I, hope, I hope you all join us for that. Um, I'll tell you guys, we're we'll signing out whenever I stutter. I'm better. We're, we're stutter. See you guys. Woo!